The Genesis Flexi 2G SAD with sliding bite block is differentiated from other second generation SADs by having a flexible wire reinforced airway tube and separate flexible wire reinforced drainage tube that bend and rotate independently, allowing the flexibility to be positioned away from the surgical field. It has a wide bore gastric drainage channel, internal diameter 7mm, made of reinforced tubing allowing easy insertion of a large nasogastric tube and facilitates drainage of large volumes of gastric regurgitated fluids and preventing collapse when suction is used. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the method of insertion. Check the cuff inflation before use. Place on a flat surface, then deflate the mask cuff with a syringe, or the mask may be inserted semi-inflated. Lubricate the back plate of the mask. Make sure the patient's head is in the sniffing morning air position. Insert the LMA along the hard and soft palate, guiding the mask through the natural bend of the airway with a finger or with the aid of a laryngoscope to lift the base of the tongue. Advance until resistance is felt. Create a seal by inflating the mask cuff and check the pressure. Confirm the mask is placed correctly. In this case, we will insert a nasogastric tube to confirm placement and check that patient ventilation is adequate. The Genesis Flexi 2G SAD is particularly useful in procedures where the surgeon and anesthesiologist are working in the same area, such as procedures involving the mouth, head or neck. The flexibility of the airway tube provides an easy connection at any angle from the mouth. The sliding bite block may be left out of the mouth or placed between the teeth. It allows the airway tube to be easily repositioned for surgical access and prevents airway occlusion and negative pressure pulmonary edema caused by the patient biting down on the airway tube when emerging from anesthesia. With the added benefit of being a single-use device without the sterilization and infection risk of multiple use devices.